guys so today I just wanted to have a quick look here at Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 on uh, the uh, Mi Note from back in 2000 and uh, I think it was 15 or late 2014 one of the two uh, very underrated phone if you ask me in terms of you know the exposure it got but I don't think many people could have actually bought it back then there are some uh, ROMs available now for the device, uh, Android Marshmallow based, based upon the MIUI uh, like uh, software skin, which we do get on Xiaomi devices. And I wanted to take a look here at this particular build. I think it's available from the uh, the Mi forum, uh, which I will leave a link in the description. And basically, uh, it's quite easy to get onto the device. You just need to go into the bootloader mode and then, uh, like, extract the zip and then hit flash all. And you have a fully working version of Android uh, Marshmallow here, which is fantastic because officially the device hasn't been up upgraded past like KitKat. So, you know, this is definitely a must here if you have the uh, Mi Note or the I think there's a one for the Mi Note Pro as well uh, we do have the Mi Note here though with 3 gigs of RAM and you can see uh, things are quite similar in terms of the notification area I definitely think the notification area is a lot nicer than Huawei's notification area which is also heavily skinned you can see it gives you access to a lot of different stuff here uh, which is nice you can also get access to the settings as well which comes with the similar kind of iPhone look about it if we have a look in the actual settings here you can see uh, basically Android 6.0.1 here and uh, if we just click on that a few times you can see we do get the uh, nice marshmallow here as well as the game I'm guessing so you can see as well the animations as you go in and out of stuff nice and fast and smooth and uh, the camera seems to work as it should do uh, I think we're getting the Snapdragon uh, 801 with this one uh, the Mi Note Pro obviously came with the uh, the 810 which was a little bit more uh, like nicer there uh, you can see we do have uh, I think it's pr roughly the same kind of settings here HHT uh, as you get on the Mi 5 which is the latest Xiaomi phone uh, and also a pretty cool thing I did notice is that you can put on uh, like uh, show me themes like the uh, me 5 theme uh, which you can see I have looked here uh, this is the uh, white theme for the me 5 there's also the gold version or the black version from the uh, me store so definitely worth you know putting on your me note here if you can't afford the uh, the Mi 5. I think the Mi Note is very affordable nowadays. Uh, it was quite an expensive handset when it first came out. Uh, in terms of the multitasking, still very Xiaomi here. You know, you're getting a horizontal slider, uh, so you, know, you can get rid of stuff quickly using that, which is quite nice. And also, you do get some customizations here when it comes to, you know, your wallpapers. You can see I've got a nice one on here and also effects such as these ones so lots of customization here I think uh, the uh, Mi UI is uh, a lot better to me than the some of the other kind of Chinese uh, like skins here maybe you know it would be nice if they went a little bit more closer to stock in some ways like there isn't an app drawer but then again stock is going towards that anyway so and I think that the uh, MIUI is definitely nicer than stock Android in a lot of ways particularly with the clock here uh, which is nice uh, let's have a look at the browser I think the browser is a uh, quite uh, uh, an interesting one so you can see it uh, basically does the job here nice and quick and also we do have the uh, performance mode on because you can put that on so this does increase the actual performance day to day so you can see there's lots of different options here with the web browser like night mode etc uh, which is quite nice uh, I think we do have a uh, music app on here but there is 
I think uh, a little bit of Mandarin here and there or maybe not actually looks a lot cleaner than on the Mi 5 so that's quite nice but one strange thing is that I can't set my lo location on this uh, phone to where I am I have to use Hong Kong as my location for some reason but nevertheless you know very nice update here definitely uh, prolongs the life of the device you know I can't really see too much difference between it and uh, the the Mi 5 uh, you know they're both uh, absolutely beautiful devices here uh, Samsung definitely copied show me when it comes to the build quality you can see uh, the same pretty much like curve back here uh, same kind of glass material you know Samsung I'm on to you I know who you copied for this uh, so yeah just a quick little video here might check out the performance against the Mi 5 if anyone's interested and I'll see you in the next one Cheers.